Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Ready from Ready's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have the first in the area and we're bringing it to you. This is the all new 2020 Ford Escape. And this one is featured in a different color that hasn't been offered in a few years. This is called Sedona Orange Metallic. So let's talk a little bit about that Escape. Escape been around for quite some time now in Ford's lineup as that smaller SUV in their lineup has changed a little bit over time. And really Ford is hoping that this is gonna be a sweet spot to kind of fill in the gap to getting rid of cars, besides the Mustang, of course, getting rid of the Focus, getting rid of the Fiesta and the other models, Fusion and whatnot. Will this be able to take the place? Now, what's nice is with the all new Escape, you do have different engine choices, hybrid options, all wheel drive and interior choices. So let's go ahead, dive into this all new 2020 Ford Escape, this being an SEL trim. So right off the bat, you'll notice, hey, they changed the whole front end of the vehicle. Now, I'm not really in love with it. The reason why is I feel like it's sorta an inflated Ford Focus that they got rid of. Massive headlight housings, probably one of the largest in the car industry right now, but I do like the way they're blacked out inside. You can see the different shape of the design in that housing. As we drop down, I'm very happy to say no fake vents, no flat black, none of that. Just nice Sedona orange. You got fog lamps down low. As you come across that open mouth grill area here, this is really tying it in to a Ford Focus. I see Ford Focus when I look at this. It's almost like a raised enlarged Ford Focus. You have a little bit of silver chrome trim around the exterior, gloss black, and then flat black with some flat silver. Very smart to go that route because this will take a beating a lot better than if it was gloss. Now, as we pop up onto the hood, two very distinctive lines, one on each side in the middle. Another thing you'll notice is look at how the hood really slopes downward. I'm six feet tall, here's my waistline. It's really much lower than the outgoing Ford Escape. Now, as we come around the bend, they decided to take that flat black and bring it around the fender opening. You have new style wheel, of course, to go with an all new body. This is an 18 inch wheel, machined aluminum, metallic gray, that blue Ford emblem in the center. I think overall, it's a tasteful design. I think maybe the thing that might be the hardest for this vehicle is it's gonna get lost in the sea of SUVs and CUVs, especially because there's nothing really popping on the design. As we go down the side, they took the Sedona orange, spilled it over on the mirrors, little bit of chrome trim up top, flat on the bottom, gloss black, you have flat black roof rails and flat black on the lower portion. I do like the way that this part comes up in the belt line, gives it a nice distinctive look to the side of the vehicle. Now, as we work our way back, I think it was very smart to flare out this chrome trim with the rear quarter window. We have a color match, low roof spoiler, little bit of gloss black. You'd be surprised, this piece here actually really helps with airflow and getting higher miles per gallon out of these CUVs and SUVs. All new taillight design, LED brake lights. I like the slope of the rear glass. You got the escape badge. My only zonk is I wish that this was embossed rather than just emblems that somebody could pluck off. As we work our way down, you have your SEL badge. Of course, the EcoBoost, new for 2020, flat black, silver, and then guess what? Functional real exhaust, one on each side gives it a balanced look. Let's go ahead, check underneath that hood and see what's powering the all new 2020 Escape. All right, guys, hood has popped on this Escape SEL. Underneath the hood, you do have a prop rod. I wish Ford would stop putting those on their vehicles but you do have that engine cover there. Like it says, EcoBoost, that's a 1.5 liter, three cylinder engine. It's all mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. One of those things, this one is front wheel drive. You can get it all wheel drive. When we're talking about MPGs, we're looking at, believe it or not, 33 on the highway. And in the city, you're looking at 27. So you're gonna get a great return on your MPGs out of this 1.5 liter engine under the hood, very clean. I'm glad that we could actually physically see the engine. That's always a plus from a car enthusiast standpoint. But why don't we go ahead, 
fire up this escape and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Ford Escape SEL trim. I know you're probably wondering, well, Joe, uh, I need something for the family. I don't want something too big. I don't want something too little. I'm digging the Escape. Seems about right. How much is it? This one, the SEL trim, is optioned out to MSRP of $31,000. Let's see what you get to the door panels. So on the door panels, you do have some nice tan material on the armrest to break it up. You also have some flat silver to break up the sea of darker material. Now there is a funky looking design that they put in the back portion of the door panel. It's interesting. It looks like somebody kind of took their nail and dug it out in pieces. I'm not really loving it. Uh, so I am going to zonk that. I think they should have had some stitching or something. Soft material, that flat silver continues to bring up the tan to kind of break up all of the dark, which I think is a great idea. Eight inch infotainment system. I'm actually liking this system. It looks very similar to what you see on a lot of European cars and whatnot. Very easy to, to navigate through. You do have navigation, of course. Um, you could go into your apps and whatnot, but the sync system is such a great system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very slim and trim. Radio controls, you have your AC vents with some nice silver trim on it. What's fascinating is that the engine start stop button is like behind this bend. So you're gonna have to search for it but once you figure it out, it's no big deal. So I'm just, I'm not even gonna zonk that. Standard AC controls, easy to use, easy to understand. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. I like the digital display right here on your temperature, very nice. And then it also shows up on the screen. You drop down, you got USB, you got a 12 volt, very large area. You can actually put a phone and a bag of Doritos. The only problem is that cheesy dust is gonna get everywhere. So just be careful about that. That's just a Dorito warning from me to you. I'm liking the flat black, this like wood grain kind of texture to it. It's very clean. Here's your rotary dial for that eight speed automatic transmission, electric e-brake. You have the ability to shut off that auto start stop feature. And then you have different drive modes to go through, which I'll show you that. Here's your key fob, your standard four key fob. It's a little bit on the larger side, but you know what? It gets the job done. There's the buttons on the back. Very nice, you got remote start. Soft material on the armrest. I like the stitching. See, this is what they should have put on the door panel. Would have looked a little bit higher class. You open this up, good amount of room and a USB in there. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hungry for some chips and that's why I'm gonna probably say you could get like a nice medium size, those kettle cooked chips. Those, those are my favorite. I put that in there all day long. Nice leather interior. I like the perforated center. I like the material. And they're a two-tone color, which is really wonderful as well. Electric assist, especially on the driver's side, makes it very nice. And I got plenty of headroom in here. Easy peasy. Why don't you come on over to the business side of things? I'll show you behind the wheel of this new Escape. All right, guys. Business side, one thing I want to point out, look at this. You get three memory settings for the seat. Very nice to see that. Also, when it comes to the seat, for the driver, you do have electric assist. Really, really nice to get it to fit the contours of your body. Steering wheel, the leather is super soft. I wish they would have done that contrast stitching because let's think about this for a second. There's great contrast stitching on the armrest, nowhere else in this whole car. So that's kind of a little bizarre and I am gonna zonk it. I would like to see a little bit color differentiation. Gloss black, very simple to use controls. And then you have a simple layout, but it works. Analog tech, analog speedometer, coolant gauge, fuel gauge, and then you have that information display in the center that you could post all sorts of stuff. Now, you can get an optional 12 inch digital display. This one doesn't have it, but I promise you here at Walker Ford, they'll get the other trim levels and we'll bring them to you. It is nice. I wasn't a big fan of the rotary dial shifter at first, but it does free up this whole area. And you do also have your drive mode. You have normal, eco, sport, slippery when wet, and then deep snow and sand. So that's kind of nice to change the parameters of how the Escape is gonna run for you. But let's go ahead, check out the back seat and see how your passenger is gonna be loving this Escape. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Escape. Lots of room back here. This is where they, where they did a lot of the homework to restructure the whole interior. Lots of headroom, and what's nice is I feel, it's almost like 
movie theater style seating or stadium seating. I feel like I'm sitting higher, which obviously I am, the rear cushions are higher, which allows you to kind of get a better view out the windshield if you are a passenger. You can see the darker material behind the seats, very nice touch. I like the cutout area for your legs. You got a nice pocket in here on one side, not the other. Two AC vents, a 12 volt, which at least they have that. We've been in many vehicles here where you get nothing. And then armrests, you pull it down, it's nice and soft. Two cup holders, it's a pretty good size. Seats, they, they actually slide, which is great. And get ready for this, one, two, three. They recline, so that's gonna help make this drive and ride in the Escape a little bit more comfortable for your passengers, but let's check out that cargo area and see what we can put back there. All right, guys, time to check out what can we fit in the back of the Escape. Just push here, look at that, electric assist, back up, Tom, you're gonna get knocked out. Lots of room. I like the load floor is very low, even with the seats up, plenty of space, which is really great. You get a 12 volt back here. Let's see what's underneath here. You got your uh, spare tire, but very nicely done. You can actually raise the floor in here. If you notice these little tabs sticking out on both sides, you actually can raise the floor just a little bit or keep it in the lower position. But I think that for packaging wise, they did a great job on this escape. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead. I'm ready to escape. Let's take this first spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Ford Escape with the three-cylinder turbo. Remember, 180 horsepower, about 174 pound-feet of torque. One thing that definitely is an improvement inside the Escape over the old one is I like the arrangement of the interior. Much, much better with how they have the center console, the dash looking out over the hood on throttle, that A-speed drops down, that three-cylinder turbo doing its job, getting you up and running. Now what's interesting is on the highway, you actually have a cylinder that shuts down. So you'll, to help with that, those MPGs to get that 33 on the highway, you actually have a cylinder that gets shut down, believe it or not, and you're running on two cylinders. And if you know anything about cylinders, you would know two cylinders, a lot of motorcycles are two cylinders like Harley Davidson's. But anyways, with this Escape, the, the ride is smooth, the seats are very, very supportive, and overall, I'm enjoying the layout. Obviously, I think where the biggest zonk is going to come from is, is from the front end of the vehicle. I think that's where they kind of missed the mark a little bit and was going a little too car-like to kind of fill in the gap of not having any more cars in their lineup besides the Mustang. Let's see, passing as we go here. Drops down to the transmission. Drops down very quickly. Shifts are smooth. Not too buzzy from the engine, so that's a nice feel overall. And to be honest with you, compared to the last Escape, it's definitely quieter in here. Uh, so I do feel better materials being used, especially sound deadening materials in this 2020 Escape compared to the previous generation. All right, guys, merging onto the highway, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, even with the three cylinder turbo, it's got enough pep to it and you're gonna get those maximum MPGs. Controls are easy to get to, and I like, for me, the driving position, having my up on top of the door sill here. Very easy to drive, very easy to find that sweet spot to where you feel good, and you could go hundreds and hundreds of miles. The gauge layout, I wish this one had the digital display. It really just makes the vehicle feel much different in overall quality and level of fit and finish. But smooth is this, the middle name of this Escape. The, the ride is very smooth, it's very, very um, compliant, and it's not gonna shake you or anything like that, which is very nice. It's, a, it's just a nice, smooth, overall driving CUV, SUV, whatever you wanna call these things this day. But uh, gives you options. I just, the front end, I wish they would've done something a little different. But let's see how the brakes are in this. Of course, we're not on a performance model. And they say that there could be an ST coming, so that is interesting. But on the brakes, decent feedback from the brake pedal. We tip it in. It actually does not have a lot of body roll, which is surprising for this vehicle. On throttle. Not too bad. Like those shifts, I mean, very smooth. You don't see me herky-jerky all over the place and you're up and rolling. It's just when my eyes look down and I look at the dash, they kind of hurt. Just because of 
it's not really the sexiest of looking gauge layouts but remember we're trying to keep this at a certain price point $31,000 SEL trim feedback though is great from the steering I, I really feel like it's at a great amount of weight to it I am in sport mode you have those other modes you can put it into it as well but just overall the feedback feels nice from the steering uh, this isn't a race car by any means but it's nice to feel in control and have good feedback I think that's something that a lot of people forget but going into this turn here I'm even rolling on throttle in the turn feels good nice and smooth and like I said when it's time to go and merge you get on throttle 180 horsepower you can go optional 2 liter with 250 horsepower that would be the way to go I think power wise but uh, still good package out of this escape hopefully this gave you a good enough overview we're going to go ahead wrap this one up get back to walker Ford, and of course we're going to attack those other trim levels engine options and everything else so i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been another wonderful day here at walker ford with this new 2020 escape is it a contender for that flooded cuv suv market i think time will tell Hopefully, Ford has some plans of bringing back some of their vehicles. I know, you know, everybody knows that I would like to see the Ford Focus ST make a return, the Fiesta ST. But you know what? I think packaging-wise, it gives people a great option for that everyday driver for their family and their needs. But if these are the types of things that you like to see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, Greg, Denise, Everybody here at Walker's for Walker Ford is so amazing, so supportive. Definitely got to thank them over and over again. If you are a member of the Raise Rise family, thank you for being a subscriber. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Motion, working the camera. He's going to be working some weights this weekend. Wish him luck in his competition. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.